Hello everyone, my name is Jordi, your trainer for this tutorial. In this video I will explain how to create a title and how to animate it. To create a title we can press the item button on our project panel. But we are going to use the short key Ctrl or Command T and that will bring up a dialog box. In most cases we'll leave the video settings as they are. Just input a name for the title and press OK to open the titler of Premiere Pro, a very powerful text editor. As you can see in the project panel, the title is a generated file within Premiere Pro. This file can contain multiple text lines, shapes and even images which you can insert. To start typing a text in the titler, press the T key to activate the type tool. Click in your canvas and start typing. Activate the arrow again to start dragging your title around. On the right side you'll see all the settings for the text, which are pretty obvious. As a lot of these things speak for themselves, I will not cover it. You should play with these settings to find out what they do, if something shouldn't be clear. There are also many presets to apply a particular style. To center any item, like the text we have just created, you need to press the buttons down below. Center it vertically or horizontal. You can also create shapes with these buttons from the Titler's toolbox, or create a custom pet with the pen tool. If you want to add an image inside the titler, you need to right click, say logo, insert logo, select an image and press open. One last button I would like to show are the templates. Click on this icon that says templates. Here you can choose pre-made templates or save your own work as a user template to use it in the future. I'm going to create a simple title now. Now let's close the titler. Since everything happens in real time, we don't need to save our title. Now just insert the title file into your timeline to start animating. Select a title in your timeline and go to Effects Controls. If you don't see a timeline near your clip's properties, click the arrow on the top right to reveal it. This timeline represents the one of your sequence. When you scrub through it, you'll see that the ruler in your large timeline moves with it. The difference between the two is that the timeline of your effects controls only shows the time of the selected clip, while the timeline below shows the time of your whole edit. Here we can make an animation for the selected clip. In this example, the title we have created. Open the motion property. Here you can find some sub-properties. Now choose a property that you would like to animate, for example the scale. Select a point in time from where you want the animation to start. Change the value of that property of which you want to start it from. Let's say 50%. Now with the stopwatch icon on the left of that property, you can set that value on the timeline. Animation is now active and a keyframe has been made on that point in time. That keyframe contains the value of which we have just set, 50%. Now let's move further in time. And while the animation is active now, we can just change the value and Premiere Pro will automatically create the next keyframe. This keyframe holds the value of 100% now. If you would like to create a keyframe that has the same value of the first keyframe, you can click the button Add slash Remove Keyframe. If there isn't a keyframe on that position yet, it will create one with the value shown on the left. If we now play that clip, the scale will be animated, from 50% to 100%. 
To make this animation go faster, we need to drag the keyframes closer to each other so that they don't have to make such a distance in time. The same thing goes if we want it to go slower. If you watch the value, you can also see it change. This gives you an indication of what the animation is actually doing. A good tip to know is that we can copy and paste keyframes. And simply delete them individual. Now as you can see, all of these properties have a stopwatch. And we can all animate them.